I swear to God. I swear to God. <sighs> If I get stereotyped again. So what you're saying is not lazy towns, you are a pirate. Got it. I will hurt you. Listen, Noted. Tom, that's when you do it by do you do it anyway? I don't have a death wish, thanks. Understandable. But apparently Brad does. Regardless. Our band of adventurers, the Talaria, are currently en route to the city of Mary Liberi, seeking to warn them of an impending potential threat of a Gallo representative seeking access to the city for a deal which has high reward, but incredibly high risk. Over the course of several days in Port Honor, you have been able to acquire a ship in the Atalgos through the Aventori Corporation, and through Havelock's contacts, you were able to assemble a crew that would be willing to keep the secret of Meliberry with them. However, just before you were about to leave, one of your party members, Aki, decided that he would not be joining you on your journey. As luck would have it, though, one of your former crewmates, Rurk, knew a druid to help deal with the loss of Aki, known as Arvo. With the loose ends tied up, you set sail relatively early in the morning, out and away from Kulmordak. However, the hostilities of the ocean reared its head early on in, as during the first couple of days at night, you were attacked by various creatures of the sea. Though several of you did sustain injuries, you were able to drive them off. After spending some time recovering from the battle and having some of your crew have their wounds treated, you settled in for the remaining part of the day's travel. And that is where we left off. We left off in city time. Alright, um... Well, first, I guess, before I do this, does anyone have anything that they want to do that night? No, not for me. Um, good. Yeah. All okay. Arjun is doing is uh, patching himself up in a very, like, utilitarian manner. He doesn't want to rely on magic, so... He's gonna roll his hit dice. No, roll his hit dice. All right. Well, we get a long rest anyways, so I guess that counts because we're just straight up going to sleep. Yeah, and yep. we and the rolls that we do cover about four days worth of travel each time. So he patches up. Peach, are you still in roll twenty? Nate says he can't see you in roll twenty. Anymore. Yeah, I'm in uh, roll 20. Uh, let me reset. It's not a Gamora session without something going wrong. Is it... Join me now? Yeah. Okay, okay. Alright, we're good. Okay. Um, did you have anything that you wanted to do, Nate? Uh, he said no. Okay, so, um, I realized, like, literally after the session, I laughed that I forgot to do this. Um, I had a lot of other shit going on. Fucking, I would like to go back to, like, the first day real quick. 
and um, let's say like the first night, uh, Mav goes to Kidling. I want to bug him. Uh, Kindling, where would you be in this scenario? Scratching post. Did you say a scratching post? Yes. Oh my god. I'm just being racist to everyone today. Again. It's okay, Kindling's wearing a collar with a little bell on it that I bought him. <laughs> Listen, someone has to fill that void. I guess it's Brad. <laughs> okay. Uh so, Mev comes up to Kindling, and she has um, the Cloak of the Manta Ray in her hands. Here, take this. She holds it out. Yep. You're going to need it um, on this journey. Covered. Don't worry. Besides, didn't we say we would split it? Yeah, she nods. She. <laughs> she lets go of it, puts her hands behind her back. Put that on right away. It requires, like, I don't know, like an hour to actually work. And keep it on you. Yeah, she goes to turn around. She pauses, looks back. You're doing okay, right? Have you talked to Havelock like I told you? I suppose it's progress. All right. She seems satisfied with that. She will nod and um, she is going to look for Arjun if Kindling has nothing else to say because he's typing. <laughs> Arjun. Arjun is uh, well. What time of day is it? It it's it's late. It's late. Yeah. And he's um. Let me flip a coin. All right. He is actually uh. He's he's. Uh, top deck. Okay. Uh, Mev, as she's walking, will slip the ring off her finger and 
put it behind her back. She's going to go up to you. Hello. Greetings. How good a swimmer are you? Very. How long can you hold your breath? As long as the average person. Bah. She, uh... She, she waves, like, her free hand. That isn't very specific. That depends on where you're from, doesn't it? It looks up for a second. I'd say about two minutes. Two. She will hold out her other hand, and it has the water breathing ring. Here. He blinks a few times, ends up taking the ring, peering at it for a second. It's a ring of water breathing. Uh, little bit of a knockoff, so it'll only get you a couple hours. I see. Well, it's far away from what my first guess was. And what did you think it was? Thought it was a reason for me to get on my knees. I don't think we know each other well enough for that. Is that something they do in your culture? You know, you sleep with the person once, get them a gift, and then all of a sudden it's wedding bells? Oh no, I was talking about sex. You asked me how long I could hold my breath. She covers her mouth. You could certainly use it that way. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Either way, he puts the ring on. Oh. Fucking. She just very slightly pushes you. And I thought I was being smart. You are correct. We don't know each other that well. <laughs> uh. Well, are you going to say thank you? Of course not. Of course not. She shakes her head with a grin. Alright, I did what I came here for. As you turn, he does say thank you very much. You're welcome. Water breathing rain. Water breathing rain. I still have I still have Kindling's Ring of Regeneration. See, you're getting all kinds of rings. It's getting blinged up, yo. <laughs> Never ever do that again. <laughs> <laughs> I hate that. Oh my god. Alright. That's what I wanted to do. Okie dokie. So. Skipping forward then. Uh, to. <laughs> after the. Uh, to the encounter. Encounter. 
a little bit later, after uh, like everyone's calmed down, um, Bali actually approaches um, you, you Mevan, and Havelock as well. If Havelock's still there, mm-hmm. I, I feel like they would be. Yeah. Pity time. Just sort of stands there, just sort of looking ahead in silence for a bit. Or just saying, like, how are you both holding up after that? Mm. I'm fine. Yes. Salty and sleepy, just how I like to be. Alright, I've, uh, I had a check in on son to see how she's doing. She'll live. What does that mean mentally? She's... After an encounter like that, obviously she is shaken up, but... She seems to be... She seems fine, though, in low spirits at the moment. Shaken? Yes. Yeah, no nods. I've asked Eldarion to, uh, to keep an eye on her. She looks down at Havlock. Yes, Matt. You brought her into this. I will go check on her. She nods. Seems that's all she wanted. Best way till the morning. She was asleep when I had, uh... Well, she was going to sleep when I checked in on her. Very well. Speaking of sleep, what about you? Are you going to sleep? No. I will sail through the night. If that is the case, I should go to bed so that you can sleep during the day. Good. That's what I was checking on. Mm. Um, I'll get Nimbus to do an assessment on any damage that happened during the battle in the morning. Yeah, Merv nods. Um, there's definitely some some sort of like she's kind of eyeing Bali right now, but it's relatively dis- indiscernible. Um, but she will tap padlock. You should head downstairs. Uh, walk me there. <sighs> Very well. Is there anything else, Bali? No, I just wanted to make sure that you were okay. I'm fine. You think I haven't had an encounter on the ship before? No, but I always make it a point, no matter how I've experienced the crew are, to make sure they're okay after each encounter. Sometimes people can just break, no matter how hardy they are. And she, um, she smiles, she'll nod, and, uh, she will get up. Good night. Good night, Captain. Good night, Captain. <laughs> um, she'll go downstairs with Havelock. Interesting choice of him. 
Do you want me to stay up and make sure things are okay? No. I'm not... concerned. So you don't Just... Really it's not suspicious. I think I'm just... She thinks about it. And you hear you hear that little click because she's about to like gossip. Um <laughs> Oh my god. When we first got out of the battle, I went and checked up on everyone. Mm-hmm. Bali immediately went to go man the ship. No judgment, of course. I just think it's a little odd that he went and... I don't know, it feels a little bit like checking my water cap there. Do you want me to be a piece of shit, or do you want me to try and be nice? Be nice. I'm genuinely sure he didn't mean anything by it. Of course, maybe he's just, you know, trying to calm his own nerves. Mmm, comes on nerves. It did seem ship still after all. Mm-hmm. If it were me and I was in this predicament, I wouldn't exactly put in the hands of a complete stranger. That is very fair, that is very fair. <sighs> what a fucking mess. What, two days in the travel and we're already getting fucked up by things? Yep. Think it's a sign? God, I hope so. I hope not. (sighs) If you want someone to keep an eye under the waves, you can always just tie a rope to me and let me fly overboard. No. I'm not doing that. Ever. Why? It's not gonna kill me. It could. I won't drown, at least. You could hit something and we may not even know. Fuck, you could be attacked and we'll have no clue. find a way. I mean, come on, I'm pretty sturdy. Look at me. Look at all this muscle. What muscle? You're a twig. And you're tiny. Oh, come on. She rolls her eyes. No, lock. Fine. I still think you're missing out. It's helpful. I think I don't care. (sighs) All right. And he just leans his head back, rubbing his hands over his face. Sure I gotta sleep down here? Can't go sleep in your room. She thinks about it. At least it looks like she is. No, I'm not. I don't think I'm ready yet. If you want to cuddle, I'm here. I know you are. Get some sleep, Mev. You need it. 
you look tired. Gee, thanks. Um, before I go, I just want to basically insight Havelock. What are you trying to insight? Uh, just his his feelings at most. Of wow. And it cut out for me. You said Mev's feelings on what? Uh, his feelings on Mev's dismissal. Oh. He looked tired. He looked tired. Like a bit tired. Poor boy. All right. All right. Mev will uh, head to. Oh, I'm dead. Hey. Um, quick question for Nate. Is Kindling asleep yet? Is he anywhere near here? Awesome. You get to have the unfortunate first night of Havelock finding a new cuddle buddy. Lock your door, Kindling. <laughs> He's coming. He's coming. Wouldn't work. Havelock would just respawn Dars and use his tail as a lockpick. No sporkin. Is a sporkin. <laughs> Man, that fucking spork done. I think the joke is like they're they're not fucking or anything. Oh yeah, no, no. <laughs> oh. No, Kinling, no. 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 Oh no. my god. <laughs> Everyone's mind is in the gutter today. This is this is a <laughs> this is a very like guttery session. Oh, righty then. Yeah, Tom. You're struggling. Every We're time. We're all struggling today. <laughs> so. You, uh, you all rest for the night until the, uh, the start of the next morning. Okay, cool. Uh, come on to, coming on to the deck, uh, it's a very clear and sunny day, which is nice given the, uh, it, it essentially it feels like it's burning away the mood from uh, the night before. Mm -hmm. So, do you know what anyone wants to do before the uh, we start the rolls again? Um, I'll basically be attending to the crew during the day, making sure that they have what they need. Um, if there is any repairs needed to the ship, I will miss killing and Nimbus and everything. Um, a reminder to Havelock to check on Sun. Yep, Havelock's going to check on Mom. Okay, uh, if that's the case. So, uh, Nimbus and Dirge have um, assessed the damage. Um, the damage on the deck is purely cosmetic. 
at worst, somebody might get a splinter. Uh, the damage that was caused when um, Havelock Thunder waved under the water. There's a small bit of damage, but on Dirge's assessment, it doesn't necessarily require repairs at the moment. Mm -hmm. But obviously it's your choice if you decide to uh, have it be repaired or not. Um, I think that it should be repaired. Just like, even if it isn't that important right now, it's going to be pretty important when we're, you know, in like a combat situation again, if we are. Yeah, so just so you, just so you know, for your own information on it, um, the hole did take about four points of damage. That's why I said it's not a substantial amount. Yeah, um, I would say no rush, not urgent, but that needs to be done. Okie dokie. Take that in mind, Dirge uh, writes it down in his journal to uh, to work on as he goes. Havelock, do you want to do the, the role-playing on seeing how Sun's doing, or nah? Yeah, we can do that. Okay. So, uh... You quickly ask Eldarion where um, where Sun is, and he uh, points you towards um, sort of a a separate room where um, where injured uh, parties can rest. Mm. Just sort of like gently knock on the door before opening it. Uh, there is only one other person in the room, which is Sun. Uh, she's just sort of like sitting up uh, on the bed, sort of knees tucked to to her chest, and just sort of resting her, her chin on her knees. Hey, son, how you doing? I've I've been better. Is that in your head, on your body? Both. Can I sit with you? Sure. Yeah. He's gonna take a seat next to her, giving her a pat on the knee for ten points of lay on hands. You alright? You did real good yesterday. I'm not particularly suited for combat. You could have fooled me. But what about you? Are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm fine. I've taken worse than that. <sighs> Listen, if you don't want you don't have to partake in combat if you don't think you want to. Loss of habits, I'm afraid. When those I care about are in trouble, when my children were in trouble, motherly instincts kick in and, well... Fair point, I suppose. If you keep to the skies when you're fighting for us, uh, you could always, perhaps, pick enemies up and drop them back in the water. 
I'm, or... I'm not that strong, unfortunately. And... Do you know of the tales of... Sirens? Vaguely, I know of them. For many, they say that simply are songs drive people to their demise. That's only half true. Only when we ourselves are wrecked by sadness, we lose our freedom of flight and instead bring despair. Alright, okay. So how are you feeling currently? Can you still fly? No. Not at this moment. Okay. That's... I'm... I'm sorry, I know that was one of the reasons you brought me on, that being able to fly I could have a vantage point, but I mean... No, no, no. He puts up a hand and it's fine. Still a member of the crew either way. There's still work that could be done, even if it's just being up in the crow's nest and looking with your eyes, not with your wings. A rubit helps. Suppose so. Come on, even any rats that board the ship still have a purpose. They get eaten by the cats. Speaking of the crow's nest, have you spoken with A-Rob? I have not. Uh, Mev mostly handles those sorts of things. Do I need to talk with him? He was quite insistent about not having me partake in the battle. I fear that might what have happened to me could have... Tell him to not worry if you see him. Will do. But you know it'll make him worry less? Being there on the crow's nest? Exactly. I can't at the moment. My leg's too wounded to climb up there. That's alright. We'll get you back up there. You mind if I look at your leg? Oh, uh, just uh, lays her, her leg flat. Um, you can see it does have a... It, it's pretty heavily bandaged. Basically covering the entire thigh. Would Havelock be able to take a guess if uh, Cure Wounds will help or not? Make a medicine check. Eight. You are not too sure. When in doubt. I can try and speed up the healing. I'm a little bit of a healer. I mean, Aldarian's put a lot of work in himself. You're certainly free to add to it if you like. Yeah, we'll give it a shot. A nice level 2 cure wound. Another 10 hit points. It's a spell, you just so she rolls her leg a bit here and there. Well, it hurts a little less now, at the very least.
Take your rest. Take care of yourself. Do you want something to eat or drink? No, it's fine. Uh, Aldarian asked me shortly before you arrived as well. Good. Alright, kid, get some more rest. He's gonna awkwardly pat her on the shoulder and uh, scurry away. As you pat her on the shoulder, she sort of, like, pulls her on and just gives you a light hug. Eh. Okay. Yeah, here we go, and just gives a nod. Uh, she gives a slight sad smile, but uh, she looks a bit happier than she did previously. You, uh, you leave the, the rest area. Um, do you say anything to Aldarian, or do you just leave? Uh, he's gonna... He's gonna... Fucking go. Havelock's awkward enough right now as it is. He's out of there. Okay, then. So, anything from anyone else? Um, does Kindling ever come up to the uh, top deck during uh, the, the the first day since the fight? All right. Um, on one of these periods where it's where he's seen, um. I'd say, like, Arjun's probably taking over for Sun at the Crow's Nest. And when he sees Kindling on the, on the deck, he actually, like, does some, like, Pirates of the Caribbean shit to get down. Like, he, like, jumps down and, like, swings off the rigging and shit, and he gets to the, the deck. And he goes and he finds Kindling. Kindling. I... Are you free? Uh, first thing he does is he uh, holds out the ring that Kindling gave him way back before we even left. And he says, I forgot to give this back to you. Recently I was reminded of the fact. I was meaning to ask you something. When we fought, you had a dagger. Special dagger. Is it something you'd be willing to part with for the right price? Your enunciation is impeccable. You need it to open the book 
he looks curious, but he also looks like he's not intending to pry unless it's something you want to already talk about. What do you need to do to power it up enough to work? Interesting. You see Arjun, like, look a little bit calculative, like he's trying to figure out whether or not that's something that they can even do. Whether or not there's something that they can do about that, but he eventually just shakes his head and he says, Well, if things change, or we do encounter such a thing and this takes place, let me know. I have a keen interest in it. Well, I'll leave you to it then. And uh, Arjun will step off from Kindling, let him get on with his day. He's going to climb the rigging again. Um... So this is in the last couple of days before the other rolls? Yeah, before the next mm -hmm. roll. Okay. Um, then I think I'll wait until the next roll. Because I have, I have more things that I want to do. But I think giving it a little bit more time will give us more information. <laughs> True enough. Okay. Uh, if that is the case, there is nothing further in this interim. Uh, who makes the next roll? I think it's Havlock? Yeah, it's Havlock. Okay. Fantastic. Welcome back. Welcome back. Roll a d6. d6. Five. It's not six like Arjun rolled. Okie dokie. Uh, just quickly checking because so I did actually change up this encounter thing. Uh, Pardon me. <laughs> uh, roll another d6 again. Five. Five. Uh, five octopus 
So. The only notable thing that uh, happens real is just that the next couple of days, it's just constant sunshine. You rarely see a cloud in the sky. Um, All right. Beyond that, though, it appears that you don't see anything out of the ordinary. Uh, okay. You do get, you do get a complaint from uh, A-Rob about the sun, uh, specifically just that it difficult to see east and west but what a complaint to have yeah. the sun <laughs> the sun's like fucking eyes why didn't they invent sunglasses yet uh, if I then alright um then First off, I would like to know how I'm doing with any mind leaking. Okay. Uh, you know what, Mickey? I do wisdom throw. Uh, wisdom saving throw. Okay. Um, is that with anything? Because sometimes I get advantage and sometimes I get disadvantage, depending on the situation. Is it just normal? I'll say just normal. I don't think Mev's really had okay. a particularly, like, mentally stressful thing happen. Okay. Um. You know, outside the thing with the hand, but for, um... Break up with Aki was a uh, was an anecdote. It wasn't too. Good. <laughs> yeah, no, she's just fine. Not emotionally devastated at all. Yeah, a four. So uh, there, there is a decent amount. Okay, so people are spilling into my head. Yeah. Okay. Um. Is there anything of note in that that I could even parse out, or is it just noise? Uh, it's just noise. Okay. Uh, um. Uh, the only the only ones that you hear that are more structured um, come from Arab Bali and. Uh, Nimbus. Technically Dirge, but Dirge it's just a whole lot of numbers you keep hearing. Oh god. Well, that's like not a, helpful. Like a lot All of right. uh, <laughs> Um, For Nimbus, you, it's just sort of like the occasional like, essentially speculation about Mary Liberi. Mm-hmm. That you hear like, what how big it is? How many ships do they have there? Ooh, what's a food like that? Oh my god. <laughs> mm-hmm. Uh, Arab, you occasionally hear just like... She should have done that. Would have been safer up here. Or I should have gone there. Lots of, lots of regrets, which is funny because it, he didn't seem to like her at first. Mm -hmm. uh, with Bali, it's... He essentially seems to almost be reciting the roots. Okay. That you hear. Um, but you do hear the occasional what bit where it's like... Only a few days in and we already got attacked. Mm-hmm. What's it going to be like on the open sea? Alright. Um, and... I guess if any of the party members would like to participate in this... <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yep, so it does match. It does not. Ha it does not have to make sense. <laughs> and you don't have to tell me anything other than noise. You get nothing from Arjun. Wow. That's fair that's fair enough intelligence save, yeah. Yeah. God damn. Yeah, I guess I guess that's how it could be done as well. Yep. If uh, there's more people with more mental fortitude able to keep their thoughts to themselves. Yeah, so you guys can roll an intelligence save if you want to. Or forego it if you'd rather not. Yeah. <laughs> Have luck. Have luck. Not necessarily head empty, but boy, howdy, is the door wide open. Yeah. He's thinking a lot about what are we going to make tonight? Is everything going okay? Oh my god. Why won't Mev let me jump over the side of the ship? <laughs> I could get some more seashells. I should get some more seashells. Kindling was really soft. Oh I'm my god. Home again tonight. Kindling was really <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ooh, oh, okay. I was, I was expecting. All right, yeah, I was about I was about to do the roll for dogs, and I forgot he got killed. Yeah, he's got his vacation. Yeah, though technically, in the space of the roll, he his vacation would have been over and done with. Should go resummon Dawes. I'm gonna go resummon Dawes. I would like to resummon him, please. Okie dokie. Okay. Um, just waiting for Kinlo. Yeah. Uh, yes, I'll do the I'll do the roll for Dos as well. Did you enjoy getting a look inside of Havelock's twisted mind? Um. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, I think. Yeah. I was about to say, uh, Dawes, you just hear a whole bunch of complaining and grumbling. Mm hmm. Um, I think with all the noise and everyone's thoughts and everything, um, at some point, Mev, um, climbs up the crow's nest. I don't know which person is there right now. Um,. Time is it? Let's say like mid afternoon. Arjun would be there. Okay. If anyone um, wasn't there. Yeah, then um Mev comes up and she's just like I'll take over. You can go. She looks over. Well, He pauses for a second, but he thinks better of it, and he, he heads off. Okay. Um. Mev. The thing is, is that I'm pretty sure that because of her recent level up, her uh, telepathy was heightened. Yeah. I think it was that we agreed that uh, it was multiple people within, like, its default bit, but it's double for one person. Yes. So, um... I don't think... Because the thing is, is that it, it ranges, like, a mile. I don't think the crow's nest is going to help Mev. I don't think it's tall enough to get away. It, it's It's not a mile. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Um, Mev... <laughs> 
for for a good portion of time, I think people just don't see her out there. She is like she she is like huddled up right now with her head in her hands for a minute as she like kind of realizes like she can't fucking escape. <sighs> Um, how's Valkyr doing? <laughs> you, you sort of, in your mind's eye, sort of see him just almost like sitting, almost the equivalent of sitting there next to you, just gritting his teeth. Mm hmm. <laughs> and problem haddock is an understatement. I think I should throw shifts with Bali. More, more people will be asleep and won't hear them. So, but we, this will be problematic. We need to figure out how to deal with this. I don't know why this is happening. I came up here but make it go away. Before, you weren't able to do all that you can do right now. You think this is a side effect? Remember what Olivia said about getting control of everything. The meditation just makes me fucking hear more. I know. There has to be something similar. I refuse to believe that this is what those before us dealt with. They would have gone mad long ago, surely. I certainly don't remember having to deal with this. Do we even fucking remember anything? It, it <laughs> seems a little incredulous at that thought. I'm not sure, but I fail to see how I could forget the crushing feeling of everything pressing against me like this. I want to insight, Valkyr. Okay. Hey, you... What you insight him about? There has been several scenarios at this point where he has been able to keep things from me. And he has said some really weird stuff about, like, I know this, or I wouldn't forget this, or, like, you know, things, access to knowledge that I should have, or if I don't, he shouldn't have. So, I want to see, basically, if he's, like, bullshitting me. Okay. Um... Now, I don't know how this would work, because we are literally in each other's consciousness. Is it just a normal roll? With advantage. With advantage. It's just, it's been so fucking weird. Fifteen. Uh... He... Definitely doesn't know if he's ever had this before. He okay. thinks that he's just finding the current experience so miserable that he thinks that if it happened in the past, he wouldn't remember it. But he actually doesn't know. It's, it's okay. Things. 
So he's just saying something dumb right now. <laughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah, Mav just rubs her temples. <sighs> um. She is going to have another uh, blunt because she's got a fucking ton of those and maybe it'll help her not be in as much pain or maybe stop them talking. Okay. Mev's solution is to get high right now, so... Definitely dulls the pain a bit. Mm-hmm. And just due to you know, due to it making you more sluggish, it kind of on some occasions it just makes the thoughts go as if someone slowed down the speed on it, and other times it's just sort of That's disorienting. Very and others it's very uh muffled. Like you're hearing it okay. from, you know, from a separate room kind of deal. Yeah. So it does help a little bit. <laughs> um. Yeah, I think Mev at that point will just try to get through the rest of it. And she did say that she'd take over. So until someone comes and uh, replaces her, she will be up there watching um though i don't know how well she'll be watching because she is high as a kite <laughs> yeah so uh, this has been a few days since since the the attack so um after a few hours you hear the sound of like claws landing on wood mm. yeah um I've doesn't like react at first and she just like turns her head uh, mm -hmm. perch, perch on the crow's nest still with a leg bandage still you were uh, you can see some just sort of like just perched on the edge just sort of looking at you oh hey are you all right <laughs> No. But yes. She gestures to the, uh, like, wooden floor of the crow's nest. Are you here to take over? Uh, I was going to guess. Great, because this was not helpful. I don't know what it was meaning to help, but I'm sorry that it didn't. There's this moment of pause as she, like, is processing what someone said. And there's this, she just does this slow blink at her. You don't seem quite all there. Oh, that's because I have the smoke. Do you want one? I would rather not. Thank you. Are you sure? And she gestures to the leg. Might make you feel better. I'm fine. Do you need I'm gonna go hand? down. Do you need a hand getting down? No, no. I've been... I've been climbing all my life. She, like, <laughs> waves a hand. It's not even really a wave. It's, like, very... Very limp. <laughs> I 
I'm going to carry you down wobble. Path. Yeah, I'll wobble. You're gonna carry me? Best I can. Mmm. It looks like she's thinking about what to say, but if Sun wants to take the opportunity while she's slowly chugging along. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, like, Sun just sort of, like, waits for a few seconds before just sighing and sort of just picking you up. Mm-hmm. We. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we. Now, hold on tight. It's only be a few seconds, but still. Um, I'll just do a, a strength check. Nine. Okay. Hold on. I don't know if it's it's tight, but yep. Uh, so Sutton very quickly just sort of like flies down and just sort of deposits you on the deck. Thank you, pretty bird. You should, you should get some rest. What time is it? She she literally looks up at the sky. <laughs> oh god, she's fight the sun now. Roll initiative. L late, quite late. Late enough for you to go to sleep. Oh. No, no, I need to... No, I can't. He'll probably be mad at me. No, he won't. In fact, he told me that you need to go to sleep. Who's he? The one you were referring to. Bali? Yes. She eyes... Sun, but it doesn't look like she gets anything from her because she literally can't. <laughs> God, yeah. <laughs> told me that you need to go to sleep, and so that's why I went up there. Fine, I'll talk to him later. Okay, do you need me to walk you to your room? Mm. No. Where's Locke? He's busy with his duties at the moment, but I can ask him to come visit you. She looks around as Havelock top deck. Yes, he is running around assisting where needed. She waves over. Lock. Yes. Go to bed with me. He stumbles. You think he's going to fall for a second as he dashes his way over to you? Yep, right away. Mm. Okay. Arms are back. She looks you over and smile. There's no reply. He's just gonna go behind you. Uh, put his arms underneath your yours, lift you up, and kind of like toddler walk you back. You know your feet on his feet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, yeah. He's fucking whispering to her as they go. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah! Hurrah! <laughs> For fuck's sake! Oh. <laughs> the knife goes marching one by one. Hurrah! Hurrah! 
she's like half singing with you um while she usually has the very like it's it's very funny hearing this stupid ass song in Mev's like ethereal accent <laughs> <laughs> she will, um, hold on. Anyways, um, do you have anything specific that you want to do, Havelock? Because I, I feel like just by the scent and how Mev is acting, you can probably infer. Um, seeing her in the loopier of states... He's mostly just going to try and keep her occupied if she's being troublesome and refuses to go to sleep. Okay. I feel like you're not going to have too much of a problem getting her to go to bed. I, I feel like the second that like her head hits the pillow, it's going to be like, out. Alright. So, just wondering if <laughs> you managed to do anything beforehand. Uh... Mm, no, but once she is asleep, he's gonna he's gonna dip into some of her paints and start painting tiny patterns on her, like hands and arms. Okay, Those he's doing patterns. doing some henna. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> All right. That'll be um. That'll be that day then. So if anything else. Anyone else has anything? Yes, I did. Thank you. Um, <laughs> I got myself Burger King. Yeah. Okay. That's the case. Does, uh, anyone else do anything? to be relatively okay um you do have to keep stuff like rope and such away because they start trying to uh, bite on it seemingly thinking that it's grass or something <laughs> um No, I'll save that for the end of this Good, okay. uh, Arjun, what about you? Did you do anything during the day? Yeah, Arjun is gonna fish! You're gonna fish? Oh, yes. oh boy, that means we get to use that one thing you sent me. God damn. You don't want to. What was that? I said we don't have to if you don't want to. I don't know if you've read it yet or not. I've, I've had, a, I've had a, a look over it. I, mean, I want to. Uh, but yeah, I'd, uh, I'd say that. So. Uh, you would have like fishing gear and everything. So let me just quickly. Just quickly, uh. Ugh, remind myself. That and being Listen, my, my background is fishermen, fishing is huge. 
I just realized that pun that you've made, Kinling. Oh. <laughs> I just recognized that too. Okay. Uh, if that's the case, uh, go ahead and roll a d20 for me. I like high number. High number, good. Grab a um, a fishing rod and God damn it! Now I just saw the one that I saw the ones that Anna did. Oh, I'm taking psychic damage IRL. Anyway, I'm just quickly double checking on this one because I did read. There we go. Right. So, um, you sort of just spend a lot of the time just waiting, allowing the uh, the ship's mo own movements to have the uh, the bait sort of flail about, mm -hmm. and then you feel the line go taut for a second. I set the hook. Yep. So I need you to make a survival check. Survival. Twenty-one. I really love this this table of fish. <laughs> it is. It is a uh, very cool. So you. Uh, you begin reeling it in, and as you pull it up and it goes over the... I assume you're, you're at the back of the ship. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm at the back of the ship. Yeah. I'm bringing as it over it, the side of the deck. Yeah, as you bring it over to the side of the deck, um, you have caught a jellyfish. I got a jellyfish? Yeah. Hello, jellyfish. You're not edible. Um, is there any benefit to catching this thing? Uh, I mean, you could try to harvest it for its, uh, you know, with jellyfish, they've got, um, their stingers. Oh, like neurotoxins and shit. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah, I'll okay. try that. Is that All another right. survival check? Uh, nature check. Nature check. I have a really good nature. Damn, I just fucking ripped my ass apart. <laughs> yeah, yeah, essentially, yeah. Um... The only thing that you end up succeeding doing is uh, you accidentally get yourself stung. Oh, fuck. So, um... Never cared for jellyfish. Yeah, let's quickly check to make sure there's nothing in particular about it. No, there isn't. Okay. Uh, so thankfully the, the jellyfish isn't the most deadly ones, but... Your hand's a bit numb from the sting. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Arjun will, uh... He, he realizes that he's fucked up on the harvesting, and he's just like, damn, tossed the jellyfish overboard, pretty much. And What's uh, left of it. <laughs> yeah. And he will uh, leave fishing alone for a little while, just to, just to get himself uh, time to recover. But he is in a, he's in a grumpy mood. For the next while. Okay, okay. Oh, that's the case. Anything from anyone else? 
Okay. Um. I will say for the next little while. Mev is goofy. Um. But I think after, like. I think we started that on, like, the first day, so on, like, the third or fourth day, um, she'll be relatively clear-headed. Um, and she is going to... hit up Bali first. Okay. Uh, where is he? Uh, so you catch him just, um... Just as you as you're switching off, mm -hmm. uh, so he he gives a bit of a debrief what happened throughout the night, which is just basically um, you're now considered in the open sea. Okay. Um. So where would you say we are? Uh. So overall, so. to others so it's roughly day one that's day two that's day three that's day four five six and we're roughly on day seven at this point so you're around mm -hmm. here so yeah you, it's really you, halfway. You'd... yeah give or take it's gonna be a little less than halfway a little less than halfway because it's it's about 20 do 22 days mm -hmm. barring any Oh yeah, we have to do. go. We have to do a lot of going around. So yeah, you're yep. right. Yeah. So the easy way is basically, bar and getting interruptions. Each one is going to be like each of the uh, the squares is a day. That's excellent. Mm -hmm. So and your route is taking you roughly around here. Yep. I see. Give or take, let's say. Yeah. So you are right. technically in the open seas. So. Yeah, then Mev, um, once he's done with his debriefing, she'll say, I'd like to switch shifts. Do you want to take the night shift? Yes, um, and I understand that it may be a little bit of an inconvenient transition. I'm willing to just stay up, uh, for the day. If you're sure, then... If you're sure. You sound a little hesitant. As you say, there's going to be a period of where we're both going to be tired as we adjust to switching over shifts. Yes, um, but... She... Looks like she's thinking for a minute. I just think I do better at night right now. If that's what you want to do, then by all means, I uh, I trust you on this one. So I'm happy for that. Just. Make sure you're around when we go through the shield. I've never traversed it, so... Of course. I still intend to uphold that. Right. That's all. Uh, go ahead. Go get some sleep. I'll get maybe a little bit less if we're switching over. She nods. Um. Then she will. Um. Start going about her duties and everything. And uh, during that. She will bug at Havelock again. Block. Yes, I'm taking over the night shift. Oh. You want me to stay up with you? 
if you'd like, but I'm certainly not going to get in your way. I'll keep you company. Alright. Have you... checked on that compass? I haven't, not in a while. I'd have to dip sea water into it. Now's a good opportunity to check. Havlock's gonna take the jug. And empty some seawater into it. Jug. Okay. So, uh, you fill the compass and you just watch as the uh, little, little cork hole um, sort of like floats before it quickly moves itself in what looks to be around that direction. Okay, so it is away from more. Okay. So you note that its angle hasn't really changed from when you had first tried it in the cove. Okay. If anything, well, it maybe is looking a bit more eastward, but not by much. Well, it looks like we're not uh, getting any closer, but we're still in the same general direction of it. Yeah, Mev Nanj. I just wanted to see if we were going in that direction or if we were being opposed to it. Looks like we're opposed. If only we had the funds to fund the rest of that trip. We could probably find something in Mary Liberty. could. I just, once again, am unsure how well I'd be received by some of your contacts. I mean, I know exactly how well received I'd be, but mm, here nor there. I've told you before, <sighs> I really think the nymphs would take to you. And what if I'm not ready to be a nymph? Who said you had to be a nymph? I'm following their captain. I'm not... Not yet. Yeah. Do you plan on going back there to take that? Have luck. I don't even know if I still have a place there. Of course you do. You're Mev. You have a place everywhere. What's that mean? You're pretty and you're smart. He'd be dumber than bricks if they got rid of you. I... I left on a whim. I held no... display of... proper loyalty. <laughs> And? And that's the most important thing. I think they know you still care about them. I mean, sure, you like to run away, but you always come home eventually. Gee! Her face, like, sours at that.
I mean, I did call you a tiger before, but I could also work with a cat. Just a stray cat. They always find their way. You're such a jerk. Thank you, I try so hard. <sighs> she shakes her head. Nevertheless, I really think you'd get along. After the initial... She waves her hand trying to think of, like, the word. The initial hostility? Mm -hmm. I mean... To them, you're still... His son. That'll never go away. It went away for me. Yeah, but you were young and stupid. We're both young and stupid. What's your point? Nah, well, you're still a teenager. I'm a full adult now. Bah. I want more maturity in my pinky than you do in your entire twiggy body. Oh. He's gonna... He's gonna playfully splash some of the seawater onto her. <sighs> she... just wipes it off. Honestly. Child. I mean, do you want one? Fuck no. <laughs> Why does he sound so depressed? What is the look on his face? He just looks tired. He looks very tired. What's wrong with you? I've just been feeling off. Off how? The last couple of days you've been... Weird. I don't know, I'm... Glad to be back on the ocean, but... It feels lonelier for some reason, you know? I mean, we haven't been back since, well, I left my crew and yours vanished. We both don't have our families here. Yeah, disappeared. Of course, it's going to feel lonelier. We're on a ship full of strangers when we usually got our family, our crew, our tribe. Then I guess we need to make it our tribe. Did you know Kindling is really comfy to cuddle at night? I'm very, very sure that he is. Is that where you've been? You wouldn't let me stay in your room. I let you stay in my room the night. Well, before that, I was with Kindling. He's very dissolved. 
I'm surprised you didn't go to Arjun. You seem to really like him. I'm not getting attached. Like he's a dog you're naming. I can't give him a name. I've named everything else. No thinks about it. Have you? Have you named Kindling and I? No, you guys haven't needed names. Arjun doesn't need a name. He has one. I have a question for you. Oh, jeez. Okay, question away. So it was, it was, it was quite a while ago. Mm -hmm. You kind of turned into the sun for a couple of minutes. Oh god, we're bringing this up. Okay, um, so I've heard. Do you know what that was? Does Valkyr know what that was? Quite the honestly, Havelock, I've got no fucking clue. I wish I did. I wish I had an answer for you, but... I've got no clue. Valkyr has no clue. We asked Olivia and she has no clue. Olivia asked her magic friends and they had no clue. Why? Curious, that's all. Why is it being brought up now? I suppose. Just came to my mind. All right. And she's looking at you like this is an odd choice of questioning after what they were just talking about. Havelock's just kind of looking around in the air. I wonder where the fuck the Dawes went. Oh my. She just kind of throws up her hands, and uh, considering, like, Havelock was just kind of like, well, well, alright. Uh, she's, she's gonna go back to work if there's nothing else. He is following you the entire time. Not really oh my god. Anything, saying much. She'll give him odd jobs. So he isn't just following her like a puppy. Gives him a fucking bully stick. Well, we are actually supposed to check on the crew and see what morale is like and everything. Ah, fuck. Let's That's your do job. That real fast. Uh. With how the current situation is, morale is still high. Um, a Rob does express concern over Sun, though. Yeah, you were supposed to talk to him about that. Are you worried about Sun? Tell me some more. Well, the fact that she just dove onto those creatures and... I told her no. I know I am strong enough to stop her, but I didn't. And... I'm worried this is because of me.
Alright, I got two points. The first... She's alright. She's fine. Mm. She knows what she can handle, and she'll handle what she can. Second point. Listen. You just cannot stop a woman when she wants to go do something. If she wants to go be in that battle, she is going to be in that battle whether you hold her back or not. All I did was just keep the bell ringing and call out when, uh, when you went overboard. You did your job. You did what you're supposed to do. That's more than enough. Is it though? Yeah, it is. Oh. Alex gonna give him a good old pat on the shoulder. You're doing good. She's doing good. We're all doing good. We're gonna keep doing good, yeah? Yeah. Good. Uh, but beyond that, uh, you do have a a bit of a startling moment where, when you are checking with uh, with Arvo, uh, a black cat comes barreling out the door, chasing a rat. <laughs> and you sort of like peek in to where the garden is. No sign of Arvo. Till uh, about five or so minutes later. He uh, appears, he sort of walks up behind you. Uh, in his hand is a dead rat. Oh! Uh, excuse me, can I, can I get through? I'm sorry, Tom, can you repeat that? Oh, uh, so um, Avo... Uh, so that ends up walking up behind you with a, a dead rat in his hand. Um, after the after you had seen the black cat go scarpering away, it's like, oh, uh, can, can you let me in, please? Uh, yeah, sure. And uh, skinny boy steps aside. Yeah. He sort of like heads to um, heads to all the windows and just tosses out the corpse of the rat. That's, you know. Uh, cleans his hands a bit, he's like, ah, we got a bit of a rat problem. How bad of a rat problem? Ah, well, not as big as it was. <sighs> you know, I, I told him I was nice to him, I said, you know, please don't eat any of the seeds, we kind of need it, but I didn't listen, so... Brought the claws. That's a fair point. Um, keep killing the rats that are being an issue. Any of them look sickly? Don't really look too much into it. The ones I talked to seemed fairly nice, and some of them keep themselves to themselves, just, you know, some of them say no, and I have to show them that this isn't a two-sided arrangement. Very well, you're doing a very good job. Oh, thank you. You know, if I gave you a rat to sneak in there and uh, keep things in line, would you be okay with that? Would you be 
good handling with them. That's where that's all the time, so... Yeah? Alright, I'm giving you a companion rat. He'll be there within... He'll find you in about an hour. His name is Dawes. Okay. Uh, Havelock can mentally speak with Dawes, correct? Within a certain range, which, I mean, the ship's not that big, so it's almost certainly going to be within range. Alright. Havelock's going to tap into Dawes' little brain. You're going to... You've got a new job, buddy. It's a yeah. lot safer than fighting. Oh, thank God. So I don't need to worry about you killing me again, huh? Listen, I'm sorry about that. You knew what you were doing. I had to try and get them off the ship. You're fine. It gave you another vacation. Hey, Listen, this vacation. time you get to boss some people around, okay? You get to be in charge of some stuff. Yeah? But you gotta be a rat. Uh. We have some rats that are trying to eat the seeds on ship. We need them to get their shit in line. You can kill them right off the bat if you want to. I don't know if I can talk rat. What do you mean you don't know if you can talk rat? You can turn into a rat. Can you not speak rat? Uh-uh. Never tried it. Alright, well, you're going to learn rat. If you cannot speak rat, you can learn rat from the druid who you will be working with. Oh, that big guy? Yeah. Ah. You're his red assistant for a while. Okay. Uh, go to him within the hour. Have fun. Talk with him as you please. Okay. Thanks, Oz. You're doing good. Yeah. I'm sorry I killed you again. No, you're not. Damn. Yeah, I know you are. So, can we gotcha anything from you guys? Nothing from killing. What about Arjun? I'm not sure what Arjun's doing right this second. I think that um, he's probably like a jellyfish sting is no joke. He's probably just like letting that be for a while. But um, besides that, maybe he is just keeping up with like chores around the ship, talking to people. Um, he's gonna stop by Nimbus at least for a little while and like talk to him just to make sure he's getting on okay. Okay, yeah, so you think Nimbus like. We don't need to play out the Nimbus conversation though, he's literally just like, You good? You good, fam? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah. Alright, see. Uh. That's the case then. Yeah, that would basically mean it's uh, another roll time. Unless there's anything that happens in the days after. Uh, before then, I should say. Well, I did this at the end of the roll time, so. Yeah, okay. So that would be kindling, I think. Yep. Uh, D6, yes. Four. Okay. <laughs> I'll try to not disappoint you. 
So, one of the first things that happen as you start your journey in the open seas is the weather takes a turn. Mm, yep. It becomes cloudy, and a light rain begins, and the wind begins to pick up. Okay. Eventually, the Algos is being hit by a storm. So, uh, one of you roll a d20 for me. Killing, it's your roll. An 18. Okay. So, me too, buddy. So the storm is heavy, but not to the point where it's too much of a concern. The one problem that you see, that you find, though, is the wind. Mm -hmm. The wind is blowing in an easterly direction. So it's the opposite of where we want to go. Yeah. All right. So, while the wind isn't strong enough to risk any damage to the sails, it does slow your movement down. Yep. Freaking. With the exception of the of that, the storm doesn't really cause many issues. It's not a particularly heavy storm. Okay. But it does preside over the next several days. So, if there's anything anyone wants to try to do during that period, or if you just want to hunker down. Um, I have definitely comments like, I was a little concerned at first at the lack of fresh water um, that we might run out there or something, but apparently I didn't have to worry. <laughs> she just throws her hands up at the sky. Worried about the sun anymore? <laughs> hey, say hello to hey, Rob. Yeah. Uh -huh. He's just sort of sitting there, because they had this place in the crow's nest, so he's just... He... He is drenched through. Yup. <laughs> he, he doesn't even say anything, you just see him just... <sighs> <laughs> yup. Um... Again... At... This time, I think, um, it's very important to make sure that everyone's okay and that everything's gonna work. Mev's gonna spend a lot of her time making sure that the ship is intact and that all of the supplies, um, anything, anything that can be moved from the top deck, um, is going to be moved underneath if it can't, like, live through the water. Yeah. Uh, so, so luckily the Old Ghost doesn't have many things up on its top deck. Uh, all its cannons are already like below deck by default. Uh, mm -hmm. Nimbus does uh, does close the hatches to prevent any water getting through. Yep. Um, the only thing really that's on the top deck is just like spare rope and such. Okay, and that can that'll live. Yeah, yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, I'll, I'll say that you uh, you get dirge and some of the crew to sort of just essentially like tie it around the masts and such, mm -hmm. and secure. All right. Um, how's Arjun and his jellyfish? <laughs> That's a good question. Welcome. I mean, he doesn't have any it, yeah, uh, 
thankfully the jellyfish that you got wasn't a particularly dangerous one. It's the it's just the annoying ones that you got stung by. What does it look like? It's, it's just a really like you know your typical blue jellyfish that you see. No, not the jellyfish. Oh. The sting is like his. Are his hands swollen? Are they obviously inflamed? What's going on there? Are they um, purple? Like initially, the, initially it was like red and slightly swollen. Um, the redness has gone down quite a bit, and so is the, the swelling. But it's still. Although only like gives. Gives Arjun a once over and just basically confirms that yeah, just it'll go down mm -hmm. on its own in, in a couple of days. Any blisters, like uh Eldarian would have treated those. Including pulling out the barb. Okay. Um I think at some point though, Mev will uh bug Havelock and be like hey I heard Arjun got stung you got any more of that um, lotion he gave you ointment I whatever I have healing I have lay on hands what well he's you? been healed I just figure it would be like nice to offer him some yep I'm on it how are you doing, by the way? You good? You need anything? Arjun is, uh, how about you roll me a perception? Um. That is a 15. Are you... Mev will give you the normal, like, I'm fine. <laughs> the classic. I, I'm so sorry, I, I, I spaced out for like five seconds and I went into straight up like, I need to do a thing moment. Mm -hmm. I'm so sorry! You're okay, <laughs> Brad! <laughs> for just a second, I thought I was the DM, I was like, oh no. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> when you're a forever DM in a game. Oh, See, poor I'm, Brad. I'm regretting that ha when that ever happens to me when I go from DM <laughs> to player. But yeah, have luck. Uh, Mev will give you the. I'm fine. He is not going to believe you and give you a hug, anyways. Oh, jeez. Worry about Dodgen. He's the one actually hurt. I can do two things. I can do two things at once, but apparently I can't fucking speak. Jesus. I'm gonna go check um, on Arjun. Yeah, you do that. <sighs> Arjun, where can I find you? Uh, what time is it? I keep asking that, but what time is it? Tom, what time is it? What time is it? I would, I would say it's probably on this particular day, maybe about early afternoon. Alright, um... He's, he's fishing again. Actually, wait, is it still stormy? Yes. Alright, he is not fishing. He is, um... Basically just, um, below decks... Uh, probably having a bite. half -Lock's just gonna slide in next to him. Hey. Hello? Heard you got stung. It sucks. It does. How not that I'm not used to it. I'm alright. It's just a flesh wound. It's nothing special. Where is this flesh wound located? Hmm. 
Well, I mean, I was working with my hands, so I'm assuming it's probably like on the wrist or the uh, forearm or even the back of the hand. It's uh, it's basically um, back of the hand between the the index finger and thumb. You know that that part of it. Nice. Looking mighty raw and nasty. Jellyfish things always look terrible. You know, I still got some lotion. Mind if I massage your hand a little bit? Mm hmm? Mm hmm? I gave you that lotion. Yes, you did. I mean, if that's what you want to use it for, I won't stop you. It gives you a uh, thin smile. Havelock uh, gives him a little little smooch on the forehead. All right, give me your hand. You can eat with one. He looks... The kiss makes him look confused for a second, but he brushes it off and he just gives you his hand. Havelock will oh so nicely um, apply the lotion. The lotion on its skin. Mev didn't put lotion on her skin and she got waterboarded <laughs> all at once. Hell yeah. Visible relief is on his face when uh, everything is, is said and done. Feeling better now? Not sure. Thank you. Good. We're gonna keep doing this until you until you're healed completely, okay? Doesn't have to be a routine. But I'll welcome you welcome you off. How's your chest Does doing? Lonely. Wishing someone would grab it. But, you know, that is what it is. He snorts, but, uh... <laughs> he just shakes his head. Why? You looking for someone to lay your head? You're incorrigible. I don't know what that word means. I think I might have used the wrong context for that word, actually. It means unruly. No, that's that's kind of f f like functional for this. I'll stick by it. I'll stick by my word. Flock with no uh, formal education sticks by his statement. Well, uh, with how much you're coming on to him, uh, I think I think Arjun would uh, I'm not sure what he was going to say. Let me think. Um, yeah, he basically just, uh... It's not like we're going topside anytime soon. Are you looking for a place to lay your head? Do you think you've got the time to waste? You'll stand up. Whoop. 
I guess they're going. Kinling, the ball is in your court. Um, it, Nev is, like, resting right now, and, uh, the Havelock and Arjun basically just went off to fuck, so, whatever's going on, it's your scene. Nev never said she was resting, but okay. I thought it was daytime. You took the nighttime shift. Have we decided that it's daytime? I said it was, yeah, uh, I was, early yeah. afternoon. Then what the fuck was Mev doing up talking to Havelock? <laughs> I feel like that's a mistake on top part. Probably is. Actually, not even probably is. Is because Havelock was meant to be up with Mev. Okay, then I will retcon it and say it was early evening. Okay, so then Mev would have just been getting up. Yeah, well, either way, same difference. Uh, yeah. Except Mev is not resting. Mev is fighting for her life. <laughs> She's always fighting for her fucking life. Kindling so taken off guard. Not ready. Is anyone ever ready when they get thrown into the spotlight here? Uh, sometimes. Today I'm not feeling it, but... You've been working non-stop. You... Yeah, I'm a little... I'm a little brain-addled. Um... Conversation. Oh, Wait, no. <laughs> Who are you looking for, Kinling? Oh, uh, Avo? Oh, yeah, uh, Avo. Our druid. All right. Kindling would like to speak to Ar Arvo, Avo, 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 yeah, Avocado, Avocado. Thanks. Okay, so you. Oh, uh, hey there. What, uh, what, what, what can I do you for? Like uh, Arvo, so like, hold her hand.
Yeah, that's what I do. You know, I can, I can, I can talk to them. Can't, uh, <laughs> can't exactly understand what they say back, but they can understand me. Same with the plants. Unless I use magic. Different matter entirely if I use magic. and chat with them, see how they're doing. Come with, or you want me to deal with it? the garden room uh how far i know he's saying that but how far do you follow him because he's the stupid down near on the bottom deck minutes pass before you hear uh, before I hear Avo um, just so if I open the door just uh, close it turns around and say uh, well one of them's feeling mighty sick probably because of indicates to the boat uh, that's you know rolling in the waves What was the visual difference between Lime and Chop again? I forget. between lamb and chop? Uh, not in particular. I believe one's just like a little fluffier than the other. Okay. So, which you designate the fluffier one, lamb or chop? 
One says meh, and the other one says meh. Oh. Yeah, lamb's gonna be the fluffier of the two. I see one. They both look relatively similar. One's got a fluffier coat, uh, the one with the less fluffier coat. Uh, but beyond that, uh, I'm a little confused about, you know, all the wood, but they're being fed well, so they're happy about it. Oh, uh, you're welcome. next couple of days of travel go on, uh, the storm eventually peters out. It's still cloudy, but at this point things are a lot more calmer. With the change in the weather, uh, before we do another set of rolls, is there anything anyone wants to do? Does Arjun want to fish now that the weather's clearer? Honestly, yes. <laughs> okay. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's more fishing. I told you, I'm gonna fish. I know. It's gonna happen. And to be honest, like, because I've been reading it as as you guys been role playing, it's like actually this is really fun. this is really good. Uh, go ahead and roll another d20 for me then. Anchovy. Unfortunately, you don't catch anything. Like, you get Arjun a few tugs, is... but as you try to reel it in, they they get free. Arjun is fucking grumpy. <laughs> um, I think with your failure, uh, Mev is gonna come over and like just sit by you. You're bad at this. He glances over. There is a furrow to his brow. <laughs> she's got like this big smirk on her face. Like she said that just to piss you off. He, he like kind of wriggles in his spot to like get more comfortable and just focuses on what he's doing. He he doesn't even speak to you. <laughs> Sour. Just an observation. She shrugs. Um 
Does he continue the silent treatment? Yes. <laughs> Does he take another, make another attempt while giving the silent treatment? Um. You know, Mev actually might try to fish and oh, see yeah. what happens. You're, you're gonna grab a fishing rod as well and give it a Yep. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> go ahead and roll a d20. Uh, is it really weird that I actually like fishing in video games so long as it's not really realistic? I love I love fishing in video games. That shit's great. I, every time when I when I play Terraria with uh, with my friends, I'm always a designated fisher. Uh, eight. I'm the fishing guy in Core Keeper. And in Stardew. And Stardew. If I if I ever play Core Keeper with you, we might have a fight about that. Okay. All righty. So, yeah. So, Mev, as you sort of sit and wait, you feel a, a slight tug on the line. Mm hmm. And then a heavy tug. Oh, shit. Immediately stands up and starts helping you with it when he sees that it's it's a strong one because of yeah. His, um, you see him immediately favor your side where your wrist is hurt. Yeah, and ensures that uh, you don't hurt yourself on that wrist doing this. Okay. Okay. That's nice of him considering Mev was being a shithead to him. <laughs> Alrighty, so. Uh, if that's the case, I need you to make us five. You know, because I'm just helping it with advantage. Oh, survival check with advantage. Survival. Survive. Come on. Woo! That's a crit. Okay. That's a crit. Uh, you. You sort of like try to pull at whatever's causing it, but. Believe it or not, he rolled really high on its own survival check. Uh, it you you don't make any progress. Uh, you've got another. You, you can just tell by like the, the strain on the line that you've got maybe another three chances. So okay. go ahead and make another survival check. All right. We are fighting this thing. Mm, Twelve. All right. You sort of continue pulling, but suddenly it almost, it almost yanks the rod off you, and you feel the line go lax. Fuck! Uh, shall we both of you make a perception check? Alright. Notice, Arjun, just a fair distance away, a fin sticking out on the, you know, just above the, uh, the waves. A shark fin. Is it like a way as, as in like it, it it's free now or is it a way as in like that's still on our hook? It appears to be free, but it's still approaching the ship. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, Arjun uh, will put down the rod and immediately grab for a harpoon. He's going to try and harpoon fish it. Okay. <laughs> You're going to try and harpoon fish it. Okay. Um, you know, we'll go with the same rules, except it will do damage too. Um, go ahead and make... A... Yeah, go ahead and make an attack roll, actually, with the harpoon. Is that with proficiency? Uh, or not? Let me just quickly check what kind of 
I'm pretty sure you can use the harpoon as a weapon. No? Yeah, I just... Eh? It's not on the... not on the compodium. I guess it's considered an improvised weapon. Improvised weapon. So, that's gonna be a d20 plus 5. Oh. Oh. Uh, you, uh, you throw it, and it, it goes wide. But at the point where you can actually throw it, you notice this ship, this shark is massive. From what you can gather, maybe about 30 feet tip to tail. Holy shit, this thing's huge. Yeah. Holy it's fuck. Towards the That's ship, what she uh... said. Yes, it is. It is <laughs> gaining speed. It is gaining. Grandma. <laughs> I am in my chest. Fucking. <laughs> All right. What are you saying? Uh, it is, it is closing the distance. Do I have um, time for any more actions, or is this something that Mev needs to do next? Uh, what does Mev, do Mev doesn't see it. Do you point it out to her? Um, I think he's more focused on actually doing something about it, but you do see him immediately stand up and whip a harpoon into the water. Yeah, um, I think her attention is directed to, like, wherever the fuck you throw it. Does she see it at that point, Tom? Because this uh, thing's fucking huge. Yeah, if, if you're fall especially if you're following a harpoon, you do see it, so, like, you actually see that it did hit, but it just bounced off the hide. Oh. 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 That thing's gonna fucking ram us. Um. Yeah, no, fuck. She... Does she even recognize what this thing might be? You know it's a shark. <laughs> Just from sight, it's... Okay, but, like, big-ass shark. Would I know? You would. There are tales... Like, there's always been tales of sharks and such, but there's also tales of... Freak sharks that grow to impossible sizes. Fucking all right. So this is one of them. Are they like? I, I'm guessing with how massive this thing is, it has confidence to ram a ship. It, from the tales that you've heard, it preys on anything that crosses its path. Organic or ships. All right. This thing's gonna take a chunk out of the fucking boat. Um. She... I'm not sure if she has time to fucking call Nimbus. Because she would have him fucking shoot this thing. You have uh, you have enough time for one more action before it reaches the ship. Um... Mev is going to... Yeah, because she's not going to make that. She's basically going to warn, warn everyone. Fucking... She just calls out, We're about to be hit! Okay. <laughs> so you give the you give. I mean, the the fucking harpoon you. bounced off of it. Yep. Uh, what about you, Arjun? Oh boy. Um. <laughs> he is going to um. This might this might work. Um, he's gonna pick up the rest of, like, the entire fucking, like, basically, like, big-ass bucket of guts that he uh -huh. kept from the, uh, the fucking creature that he, he, uh, the fucking, like, Sahagan type thing that- mm -hmm, You're gonna try to distract it. Uh -huh. Yeah, he's gonna chuck it into the water, uh, in the direction of, like, just to the side of the shark so that it might turn and, and ignore us. See if he wants to have a feeding frenzy on some 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 munchies, some gut. Yeah, it it stops and starts sort of like thrashing about in the uh, in the in the chum, basically. There he goes, and he's gonna have some meat, some some food. Is that? I don't know if that's gonna hold his attention though. Meg's gonna 
take the opportunity then to go get an MVP. All right. So you quickly uh, head down to uh, where Nimbus is. Yeah, she's going to point out the big fucking shark. Oh, that's a... Uh, oh, that's a big one. Uh, yeah. Arjun tried to fucking hit it with a harpoon and it bounced right off. You think you can shoot it? Give us a broadside and I'll see what I can do. Right. Yeah, she is... <laughs> gonna head back up if she has the time because I don't I don't know if this thing's just gonna leave I don't know if it's gonna uh, keep going it very quickly uh, like you know eat, bites through as much of the, the germs it can um, yeah it uh it sort of circles around a bit and then begins making its way towards you again yep but you've uh, given it a significant amount of distance between you and it. Alright. Then, um... Mev's gonna start... It, it, basically, in that time, she is spouting off orders uh, to basically get this fucking thing... Uh, get the ship, like, turned or whatever. So that Nimbus can take a shot. Yeah. So, uh, he, he's also ordering a few of the crew as well to man the, the cannons. Yep. Uh, like, he just sort of, like, pokes his head out and says, Full salvo, or...? I'm sorry, say that again, Tom. Full salvo, or single shots? <sighs> Do you think you can get another shot then if we try for a single? I think it might not be enough for that thing. It's fucking huge, and if I miss, I mean, we can fire again, but... Just do the full! Full salvo, <laughs> right. He, uh, he ducks under. Uh... There's gonna be a lot of rolls that need to be done here. So you do a, uh, a sharp turn. Uh, the shark sort of, like, follows to the point where the broadside's on there. Um... Here's a fun thing, even though it's the crew that's doing it, since it's a full salvo. <laughs> Everyone roll a d20 for me. And mm. uh, add six to the roll as well. D20. Six. Oh, man. <laughs> I'm... <laughs> This uh, shark is fucking unstoppable. Oh so, my god. So four uh so from the full salvo of the eight cannons, uh four of them hit. Okay. So you know since uh, since there's four of you here, uh <laughs> see here's a good thing though. Uh roll eighty ten for me. Oh. Each of us or Yes, each. Alright. D ten. I how much fucking health does this thing have? Would you believe it if I said actually it has a surprising amount? <sighs> Mev just wanted to be like a little catty with Arjun. Hey, 42. 42. Uh, Anna and Kinlink also roll the 80 10 for the other two cannon shots. Anna? We fucking peppered it. Fucking. Anna's asleep. There we go. Uh, so it's not a clean salvo, as the crew have never had to do this before, but um, you watch as the shots just go like... Doo, 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 doo. Yeah. Miss. Um... Two of them collide hard onto onto the shark, sort of rears up, and the last one sort of like hits it, um, like right in its center. And you actually watch as 
almost like a like from a cartoon show it just like get absorbed in by the blood burr until the blood just spurts out from the hole well okay uh the last one also hits but at this point the lifeless corpse just lands holy shit what which shot looks like it took that thing out uh, <laughs> the, the last st- one <laughs> the, the stomach shots okay because <laughs> after after yours and brad's rolls it was still alive oh god okay yeah then it looks like this was definitely necessary holy shit yeah it's uh it's hit points are 11 d12 plus 55 holy shit the best part is it's only a challenge rank five yeah I mean, it okay. is only a shark, even if it does have a lot of health. I guess, it's, yeah. It's not like it can, it can shoot lasers or anything. <laughs> That's your point. Fair. Um, that I know of. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. Christ yeah. doesn't exist in this universe. Um, but... <laughs> you, you, do, you do hear um, members like, you know, whooping and hollering, though. We need to practice our aim. Uh, she... To to right, that's a good start, though. Yeah, she's gonna gesture over to some people. Bring it up with the nets. If we can even carry it. Fair likelihood that all we are going to be getting out of this thing is its teeth. Still beneficial. And it looks like you need more chum. I do. (sighs) I just wanted to make fun of you. (laughs) He looks over at Mev and he just says, glances at the shark, glances back at you and says, you know, I could have caught that. (sighs) Did you though? Raises a brow, shakes his head. Then I'll believe you can catch it when I see it. She's got she has a smug smile on her face. goes up alongside the the corpse of the shark and you get a you get a true idea of how massive this creature is mm-hmm. it's nearly half the length of the algos jesus christ oh yeah yeah this is yeah uh so if you want to try what the fuck has this thing been eating and i've just like kicks it a little uh, it's actually too big to be pulled onto the algos, but uh, like rope ladders have been like from yeah. the river, so you can actually you can actually walk on it. Though um, on a quick assessment, it probably, especially if the hole in it's good, it's probably not going to stay floating for too long. Yeah. Um, so there's only so much we can take from it before it just starts to sink. Yeah. So go ahead and. How many people can be on at a time? Uh, as many as you want, but obviously that's factoring in weight, so it's more down to what you think is a safe number. Two or three? Okay, two or three. Uh, so, if that's the case, I need to What you had me roll? Yeah. So if uh, however many people are going to be harvesting uh, can make a uh, nature check. All right. I feel like Arjun and Mev are probably going to be down there. Um, mm-hmm. If you just want regular crew, then I'll just roll a d20 for them. Yeah, roll a d20 for one of them. Uh, and then. Oh. I wish I had an inspiration. 
<laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, given its size, even with the the damage that it took from the cannonballs, um, you are able to get a decent amount of its skin. Uh, and about... Uh, you know what? I'm going to roll... And uh, eight of its teeth. Okay. Uh, alongside it, you are able to get a uh, roll forty six forty. Who? Uh, you. Okay. Um, four D six. Uh, that is roughly how many pounds of shark meat you're able to uh, butcher from it. All right. Before it uh, begins to start sinking. Yeah. And that's the case, Mevlon. Basically, tell everyone to start getting up. Um. She. <laughs> That just gives me a flashback to when we played through it. Oh god. Yeah, um, so they get up on deck and there's all the spoils and everything and she just uh, pats Arjun on the shoulder. You know, if you need me to help you uh, I don't know, learn how to skin a fish. It looked like you were having a hard time. He looks down at his hand that still has the jellyfish sting on it, and then he just shakes his head and says, I'm fine. <laughs> I'm gonna insight him to see, like, if he's actually upset. Okay. It doesn't really seem like it. You're not too sure, though. Okay. Um... Poor, poor Arjun. It's okay. We've both got busted up hands. <laughs> um. I think you also have to meant to be like recovering in like, before you even get to Mary LeBaire, I, I recall. Yeah, I'll be I'll be fully recovered. My hands just still messed up right now. Not enough time's gone by. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh my god. <laughs> um, Mev will hold out the shark teeth to him. Here. Keep them. They're yours. You were the one who called the shots. You were the one who made everything happen, really. You sure? We could split it. He nods. All I did was throw a harpoon that missed. You helped me try to catch it. I probably would have let go of the line because my wrist hurt. <laughs> he shrugs. Seems like he's not willing to take it. Alright. No, I like I like the blue shell. <laughs> Uh, then Mev will take the like little bag of shark teeth that she's accumulated and she jingles it in her hands. Um Those are some big fucking teeth, probably. Oh <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How big? Um I'm still trying to think because I know actually I fucking I just realized, because it's like, there could be an actual example, because ain't Megalodon's like nearly that big? What do I know that big? Ask Anna. Okay, no, I'm sorry, what were, was the question? They, they were twice the length of, the, of that one. So they're, they're the size of, like, a human hand? Yes. Probably, yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, Megalodon teeth. 
Yeah, they are. They they are the size of a of a human hand. Okay, and I've got like eight of them. Yep. I've eight human hands. Yep. They're, <laughs> um, also, they're also very sharp. Hmm. Could make good weapons out of these. We could. She still just <laughs> shakes them in the bag. It seems like she enjoys the sound. Uh, what's the skin like? Uh, it's very, very rough. Very surprisingly durable as well. Like you even like give it a few tugs to see if it's uh, if it breaks and no. Um, Does it look like um, you could make like armor or something out of it? You could probably make it a better equivalent, a better alternative to leather armor. We're okay. Talking, we're talking maybe, maybe a little bit less weaker than studded leather. I mean, it's still just a shark. Yeah. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just thinking, and also, it's not just a shark; it's a ginormous shark that, like, a, a harpoon didn't fucking pierce it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang on to that fact. So, um, all right. I think I will leave the skin and the meat for, like, others to deal with. Whether that be food or chum, or if someone wants to make, like, I don't know, a really durable, uncomfortable blanket. <laughs> I don't care. Everyone else has free reign. You know what those pieces of skin would ironically make? Hmm. Really good scrubbers for the ship. Yeah! Yeah! You could stab wood with that fucking shit. <laughs> Is the case then? Is there anything else anyone wants to do before we do the rolls? I am obviously conscious of time, so yeah. But that's just why I'm asking now, rather than uh, we do the rolls, because we'll probably just finish when we do the roll. So I want to mm. see if anyone's got any last-minute things they want to do. Think you're good? I, think that's I have to, I have to be good because I've only got ten minutes. Yeah. Okay. Uh you know, if that's the case then, uh We could start the next session with the rolls. A lot of people are thinking they wanna have the roll now and wait to see what happens, or they wanna start and have the roll happen. Uh sure. roll can wait on the next session. Wait till the next session? Okay. That's, uh, you're neutral. Nate, so, you're not allowed to be neutral. Pick a side. Yeah. <laughs> um, I think next session, because we did technically... We, we just started this role. Um, actually, actually, you just ended the role. We just ended the roll. You you got lucky and got a no encounter. What time roll. is it? I don't know. <laughs> I want to start the next session with. Start with the roll. Okie dokie. If that's the case. And then it'll be my turn. Yep. If that's the case, then uh, as you all watch as the remains of the shark get consumed by the depths of the sea, 
that's what we're going to call it for this session. Yay!